In this video, I'm going to um, give you a little trick on how you can classify your conic section without actually completing the square. All right, now in general, our conic section, uh, this would be our equation for our conic section, but we're going to specifically take a look at when our b equals zero. All right, when b equals zero, the axis of symmetry of that conic section is going to be parallel to the x-axis or the y-axis. All right, so for this um, particular shortcut, all right, this will look at only for when our b equals zero. Okay, so for when b equals zero, then this term is no longer there. Okay, so we can real quickly jot down a chart that is going to help us um, be able to um, classify, you know, just exactly what this conic section is without actually completing that square. All right, so basically your chart's going to have two columns in it. We're going to put our type of conic in the left hand side. And we're going to put our coefficients in the right hand side. And conditions for our coefficients. Okay, now I list these in a certain order. I always list the ellipse first. And I really need to put ellipse and then put or circle here. So ellipse is going to be my first one, and then circle is going to be my next one. Parabola will be the next one. All right, and then our last one will be the hyperbola. Okay, now an easy way to remember this is to take each one of these first letters and then I usually try to come up with a um, stupid little mnemonic or something to help remember that. Alright, so for this one I've got elephants can't party hard. Okay, so elephants can't party hard. All right, and the more stupid your phrase is, then the easier it is to remember. Okay, so elephants can't party hard. That's going to get you to fill in this left side of this chart really, really quickly. All right, now filling in this chart, I usually fill in the top and the bottom first. So A times C is greater than zero. A times C is less than zero. Okay, so... Um, looking at this equation, when my b is 0, if I take my coefficients, a times c, and they're greater than 0, then I've got an ellipse or possibly a circle. If a times c then is less than 0, I know I have a hyperbola. Okay. For my two middle ones, those are my equal ones. All right, on the first one, a equals c, and then, of course, then we do need to kind of put that in there. Obviously, A cannot equal 0 and C cannot equal 0 as an extra condition there. All right, but A equals C and then A times C equals 0. So these are your two equals part. All right, so if I've got this equation and I know my B term is not there because it's 0, all right, A times C is equal to 0, I know I have a parabola. And then if A equals C, then I know I've got a circle. All right, so just a little chart, all right, that you can real quickly jot out and memorize so that if you've got an equation for your conic section and you need to be able to identify exactly what type of conic it is and you don't want to take the time to complete the square, this chart really does help. So definitely, um, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful, and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.